Hey guys, it's been a while since I released the video, but I wanted to share a little about what our life is like now where the baby's coming. So we're in the exact opposite time. I'm looking for the bus because the bus is going to come in a minute. But we work the exact opposite time as Miami. So midnight here is noon there. So today I start working around 1 a.m. here, which is 1 p.m. there. And then I, I work until around 8 p.m. here, uh, 8 a.m. here. <laughs> so after the sun rises and 8 p.m. there, I'm always confusing the times because I'm in Miami time and then here. And uh, after work, I then do my workout. So today was 100 burpees. And now we're going to a Burmese center in Taiwan. And on the way there, Tanya and I are learning about uh, Myanmar and what's going on over there. And we're going to be sharing that with you. And we're, she's already done research, found the best spots, what to order in each of the best spots. We're going to have all of them and we're sharing some of this with you. So I hope you enjoy the ride. Okay, so we arrived at the Burmese center. We read the Wikipedia page. I'm going to share it with you. Uh, if you're confused about Myanmar and Burma, basically there are different ethnic groups. Some are Burmese, some are, are, are Myan, Myanmar. And so that's a lot of where the conflict comes from. The United States still calls it Burma uh, officially. And then some countries like Canada have referred to it as Myanmar. So that's one of the mixes. Now, if you look behind, there's all these Burmese, Myanmarish stores behind me. We're gonna talk a little about the history of the country and we're gonna try some of this delicious food. Okay guys, so we're about to sit to have a breakfast. Uh, check the breakfast dish right here. Tanya is gonna describe what this is. So this is considered the national breakfast dish. Um, I think it's uh, said mohinga. So it's uh, fish curry noodles with banana stem and it's cooked uh, with a huge pot on the street so you can really smell the lemongrass completely. No, don't you? <laughs> Go on. The lemongrass flavor like stopping you. Um, so this is the most popular uh, shop on the street for this and it um, it's considered to be like the national dish so I'm really excited about it um, with some noodles with some soup um, there's some fish in there what there's... are those little crum crum crumbles oh there's banana stems yes. that are deep fried yeah um, curry sauce fried onion Coriander. And this is done, this is their breakfast dish. So this is how we're starting out. We're gonna eat all over the, 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 the place. And uh, if you have any more questions, we're gonna put the recipe below. Mm. You, can really, you can really taste the fish, the curry. Mm, I love the spices, it's very unique. Well, there you go. When they say this is a fusion of a lot of different Asian foods, they're not joking. So you have the curry, uh, that kind of reminds you of the Indian curry, vaguely. You have rice noodles, then you have a background of like a, a fishy taste from catfish. And then you have deep fried banana stems, fish sauce. What was the crunchies? Ah, they use chickpeas, which reminds you like brings you a little more to towards the Chinese, maybe? Well, they have the mixture of the three culinary influences of the Chinese, mainly from the Yunnan province, uh, the Indian influence, and the Thai influence. So, that's dish number one. Let's see how, how it progresses. So basically, it's sort of like, a, like one street with all these different stores of Burmese food. So, it's not a huge place, but it's the center of the Myanmar people here. So we're gonna try some cult Burmese, what is it, cult cost noodles, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, here, salad here, yeah. Ah, well I guess, I think I understood her, we're not having any sprouts because pregnant women can't have sprouts. Then they throw tamarind vinegar and a bunch of other sauces in there and then toss it all together. So let's see how that turns out. And that's dish number two. Give me a minute. All right guys, so check out. So this is uh, another of the top most famous Burmese dishes. It's cold tossed noodles and you choose regular white noodles with potatoes, cucumber, 
onions, sprouts, sauce, cilantro, deep fried onions, dried shrimp, soybean, dried chili butter, and, and tamarind. tamarind. And vinegar. Vinegar. That's that's where it's at. And the smells are just so delicious. Well, she doesn't want to be on video, but you like her voice, right? <laughs> so I'll let you know how it is. What's the verdict? Mm. It's so different because I never had cold noodles. The consistency was amazing and then these little spices and mixes. Look at the Burmese monks. They're Buddhist monks. They play a very important role in Burmese history. So we get treated with a blessing from the monks while we're eating this delicious cold noodle. Who would have thought? Okay, so we're in our final destination eating banana pancakes with condensed milk. Yeah, so they, they flatten it out and it's like a flaky multi-layer thing. We were going to have something that's pretty unique, which is fermented tea leaf salad, but they didn't have it. So we ended up having something else. And that's the end of our breakfast for today. Quick tour. I wish you guys could be having this banana pancake with condensed milk with me, but it is what it is. See you next time.